Node Red is made by IBM Emerging Technology to automate the Internet of Things. It can be installed on cloud servers, Raspberry Pis, and most Windows, Mac, and Linux systems. Most instances of Node Red aren't secure, but the Groovebox Industrial IoT and Operator Interface Appliance adds extra security through HTTPS and authentication. The Groovebox also adds an extra feature that helps you maintain and monitor Node Red called Node Red Admin. In this workshop, I'll show you the amazing features and added security it provides. Now, Node Red and Node Red Admin are already running on the Groove AR1 by default. The first thing I'm going to show you in this video is Node Red Admin. To get to the admin landing page, head on over to https colon slash slash your Groovebox's hostname or IP address colon 3000. Here, you'll need to log in with your Groove Admin Users account. Operator, Editor, and Kiosk accounts are not permitted to use Node Red Admin. From here, you can see the Groovebox's uptime, relevant status data like memory and CPU usage, version numbers, and also start and stop Node Red. This feature is especially useful since you'll want to restart Node Red after installing new Node packages. Clicking this large button here, will take you straight to the Node Red Editor web page. Notice that when the page launches, it is using HTTPS and you have to authenticate again, which is protecting your Node Red Editor. Back to Node Red Admin. The other features are spread across these tabs on the left. Let's go to Project Management. Here you can export the project as a file in JavaScript object notation or JSON format, as well as upload an entire project, which will override the current project. Below that is credentials, which holds an encrypted string containing the sensitive node information like usernames and passwords that are not included when you export and import flows normally through the clipboard. You can either download or override these files or view them using these buttons. Here's what an encrypted credentials file may look like. And here's what my flows look like through a web browser JSON plugin. If you want to start fresh, you can download and back up your flows and credentials files and delete the entire project from here to get an empty instance of Node Red. But you'll still be able to fully restore your last project using these upload options. The certificates page is used to supply Node Red with SSL certificates to use over HTTPS. For more information on this, check out the Groovebox's user guide on opto22.com. If you're not using HTTPS, don't worry about this section. Finally, there's the Diagnostics page, which is where you can view a live console log from Node Red, which is very useful for debugging and understanding what is going on behind the scenes. You can also set debug nodes to output messages to this stream, as well as use the debug tab of the output pane in Node Red. The console log goes a lot further back, shows extra messages like when an email node checks an inbox, this feed can be downloaded to file using this button here or viewed as a static page. So there you have it. The Node Red admin page on the Groovebox is a very powerful and easy way to manage your Node Red instance on this hardened appliance. Thank you for watching.